what the Western media bizarrely continue to claim is a Tesla price war, BYD have once again reduced the price of the new SEAL. But not only have they reduced the price, Tesla brought in the new Model 3 Highland. It increases the price. BYD brings in the new BYD SEAL. It decreases the price. There's a new model and it's cheaper and better than the previous version. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. The new BYD SEAL starts at 25000 US dollars. Very good car. Not really sure about the piano black trim on the outside. It mm, doesn't last that well. But other than that, I'm a big fan of the BYD seal. And hey, you know what? BYD has really raised the game lately. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, car manufacturers, what do they say? Do they tell us, well, you know, we're doing over the air updates. It's great. You're going to get all these new changes and features and rah, rah, rah. Then what happens? Turns out the only over the air update they ever do is one you've got to drive to the dealership to get done. BYD, not the case. They're now doing over the air updates that you can do at home like Tesla. So big, big, big changes going to BYD. And if you're like Auto, you've got to be very scared. Now there's been recent articles saying American automotive industry is a very scared of the new BYD Seagull for 10,000 US dollars. Now for one, it's 10,000 US dollars in China. And it's not competitive. It's actually really not. It's a good car, but there's actually cars with more range that are bigger and have more features that cost $10,000 in China. So, you know, it's good. And the truth is automakers couldn't care less about the BYD Seagull. It's not relevant. Small micro cars, they're barely relevant on the global stage when it comes to car sales. Have a look at the global best sellers in every year. They're never small cars. The cars that size are just irrelevant in the global sales market. The BYD Seal, on the other hand, now this is the uh, this is what automakers are worried about. I can't understand these headlines. It's totally bogus. There's these headlines recently that automakers are worried about the Seagull. They're not worried about the Seagull. They're worried about this car or maybe the Addo 3. Anyway, what's the difference between the old Seal and the new Seal? Well, first of all, the price is down significantly by 5.3%. So the Cheapest version, it's called the Glory Edition. Go for Glory, 25,000 US dollars. Now, of course, that price is in China. You're never gonna get them for $25,000 outside of China, but the price is actually not that far off. I mean, in Australia, the cheapest version costs 50,000 Australian dollars, and that's about 34,000 US dollars. So it's not too different. Pricing could come down, you never know, thanks to these recent discounts from BYD. So the SEAL is BYD's one of the global cars. It's not just a, the Seagull's not, of course, they only sell that in China, but the SEAL, it's sold in Europe, it's sold in Malaysia, Thailand, it's sold in Singapore, Australia, New Zealand. It's, yeah, I mean, it's not sold in North America, but other than that, it's um, it's a fairly global vehicle. Now, BYD say that they're going for more market share by bringing out this uh, cheaper version of the SEAL, but the truth is they're just in the process of crushing a lot of the opposition, in particular, their opposition in China, where there's just way too many zombie electric car manufacturers have been making losses and are being purely propped up by the government. Unfortunately, I, I didn't used to believe that, but unfortunately it is actually true that some of these zombie car makers are being propped up by the Chinese government and BYD are just saying enough's enough. Let's just get rid of them once and for all. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Key specifications of the new SEAL, they're not changed. It has the same battery pack. Um, it has the same features, but it does get an advanced feature updates that includes smart switching of vehicle power. I believe there's some new colors. Um, the size is the same. It's still 4.8 meters long, 1,875 millimeters wide, 1,460 millimeters tall. Wheelbase is still the same. Now the battery capacity, the battery capacity of the smaller version, smaller battery pack is 61.4 kilowatt hours. Range on the CLTC cycle is 550 kilometers, but WLTP is closer to 450. The bigger battery pack, this is one most people are getting, 82.5 kilowatt hour pack. Range is apparently 700 kilometers on the CLTC, WLTP around 600 kilometers. So, you know, the range is getting close to that 400 mile range figure, which is pretty damn impressive. Now that's the rear wheel drive version. The performance all wheel drive version has about about 80 kilometers or you know about 50 miles less range. The cheapest version of the SEAL is $25,000 for the smaller battery pack. The premium 
That one has the same size battery pack, but a few extra luxury features. That's 26,700. The premium with the bigger battery pack, 435 miles of a CLTC range. That's 28,000 US dollars. So there you go. That's amazing price, isn't it? $30,000 for the performance and the four wheel drive performance is 35,000 US dollars. Now, obviously all of these undercut the equivalent Tesla Model 3 by a about 7,000 US dollars. It's a big difference, right? It's a pretty big price gap now between the Model 3 and the SEAL. In addition to that, BYD is saying, we're gonna give you 0% interest for three years. Free charging, including installation, and you get free data. You get free five gigabyte per month and cloud service for two years. They're really throwing the kitchen sink at it. Now, it's worth pointing out that the CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, said that if you can't compete with the Chinese, then 20 to 30% of your revenue is at risk. I think it's more than 20 to 30%. I think Jim Farley is being an optimist. But guys, what do you think of this new pricing of the SEAL? How do you think it's going to go? Would you consider buying one? I know a lot of people are buying them right now, and a lot of people uh, believe they're actually very, very good. Thanks for watching.